and welcome to another Emperor's Path video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how I weather coaches and locomotives. The main reason for that is that I've recently started doing commission work on trains. Uh, so if you're interested in getting some trains weather by myself, uh, the client from whose trains are in this video uh, asked for the grimy. I do like new, dirty, grimy and then filthy at my levels of weathering. Uh, so pretty much my entire collection is done to the grimy standard and the client wanted grimy as well. Uh, I'll try and do some videos in the future where I can demonstrate all four levels of it. Uh, however, um, I'm going to go through all the different stages. Uh, it's quite a nice short video considering how long it took me to film. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you want to leave a comment down below, please do. And as I say, if you would like a commission done by myself, please get in touch and we can organise something. So yeah, enjoy this video. Thanks. So I start by making sure that I've got my airbrush thinner and all of the paints that I'm going to need. So in this case it's Vallejo Black, uh, Vallejo Burnt Umber, uh, Vallejo Dark Sand and Vallejo Middle Stone. So the first thing I do are, with the black stage is I go over all of the areas that I believe either need the plasticky look toning down or would have grime built into them. So you can see I'm attacking the air vents and the uh, sort of the bogies for the chassis because I find them too shiny for the plastic so I tend to go over with the black. Uh, I'm also attacking the air vents and then eventually you'll see that I'm going to start attacking the areas where uh, I believe dirt and grime would start to build up. And um, what you can do with the airbrushes, if you have the confidence, is you can actually go over the whole thing uh, with an extremely sort of thin dusting of black, uh, which you'll see that I'll do on the coaches and on this in particular. Uh, the benefit of doing it on the grimy uh, sort of finish is that it means that you can go a little bit heavier and you don't have to be as scared. Um, being able to sort of know, right, okay, well I know that this is going to look dirty in the end and this is the sort of the big important one to uh, make it look really sooty and uh, oily and dirty and things like that. So you'll see that what I'm doing is I'm not necessarily making sure that everything is as black as it can be straight away. Uh, what I'll do with that is I'll make sure that uh, I go over it first and make sure that the first layer is down and then I can keep going over it and it's better to go in with a little bit at a time rather than sort of going boom, smashing a lot of the black from the airbrush on there. Uh, what I'm also doing whilst working on this commission is uh, using my own uh, Network Southeast Class 47 which I also want to dirty up. Now you can see with the coaches what I've actually done is laid them all on their sides. Uh, because these are one of the most important parts that I want to be uniform, uh, I lay them all on their sides, put them all together so I can make sure that all of the blacks are, all of the areas are going to be the same. Now it looks silly that I'm airbrushing the black roofs, but once again I'm taking the sheen of the black, the black plastic off to make it so that it looks a little bit better. Uh, and also because the whole thing's going to be grimy, I'm not worried about getting it on the windows, but I am going to make sure that I get the bogies, the whole underside as well, so it takes off that black sheen, and then that'll give it that sort of dusty look as we go through as well. Okay, uh, so my camera ran out of battery at this point, so what I've actually done now is I've gone over with the burnt umber and all of this, so you can see that there's that um, black on there, but there's also that sort of slight brown tinge to it, uh, and that's my favourite part because that's the part where you can sort of make it so that it's not necessarily just soot, it's dirt and grime and stuff like that, and that's using the Vallejo burnt umber, uh, and you're going to see me sort of add that to the coaches. Depending on what sort of level of dirt and grime that you want on your coaches as well, uh, you don't necessarily want to be getting this on the, the grey window sides, you want this more on the undercarriage of the coaches. But an important thing is to make sure that you do also not forget the ends of each coach because they're quite important because they tend to get missed by the uh, coach washes. What I'm doing here now is I'm going to be going over the uh, bottom of the coaches and the locos with Middle Stone by Vallejo. So this is where you start getting more of the dirt, the sand, the dust and things like that, uh, depending on the region that you're modelling. I use Middle Stone because it gives it that nice sort of uh, sandy colour that's a nice contrasting colour in comparison to the rest of the locos. 
as you can see now. Uh, this is where I'm moving on to my final colour, which is dark sand. Now this is my preferred final colour because it gives it that really sandy, dusty, almost white look at the bottom of the loco. And what I tend to do with this is I tend to tilt the locos back a lot further and I'm trying to get the underside of it rather than a straight on appearance so it gives it that dusty look whilst not getting rid of any of the parts that you've already done because that's not what you want to do. Uh, this is the part I'd make sure if uh, you're going to be copying this is make sure that you do this very little at a time. And then if you're not happy, you can add more and then you can add more. It's always easier to add more each time at this step rather than sort of going in and smashing loads on in one go because you don't want to get rid of all of those beautiful sections that you've already done with the, the black, the burnt umber and the middle stone. So here you've got some final pictures, seeing all of the locos. We can see the, uh, the black from the vents and stuff like that with a little bit of the burnt umber in there. Then as you go towards the bottom, you've got all those colours plus the middle stone to give it that sort of dirty look rather than um, that you can get from the sort of sand and bits that you're using from the natural areas. And then finally, you can see the dark sand in there as that sort of that little white highlight that just brings up the bogeys on there. And I was really happy with it. And that is it. That is the end of this painting video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, please leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much. Bye!